What's up guys, it's Travis. Um, this is going to be our ninth video. Uh, thanks for watching and subscribing and giving me those thumbs up. Definitely appreciate it. Uh, today, we're going to be talking about um, adding sound. It's going to be a pretty easy lesson. And we're also going to be talking about this, uh, this activity cycle. And you'll understand a little bit more about it because we basically added all these and we didn't use any of them. We didn't use any of these methods that we added. So that might have confused you, but I'm going to kind of talk you through this. And I'm also feeling finally getting over that cold, so should be a pretty pretty good lesson here for me. Um, you want to open up Eclipse, and we're going to go to the main Java. And within the onCreate method, we're going to play our sound. And to do that, it's pretty simple. We're just going to have to set up a sound variable. And anytime you use a sound variable you want to set it up as media player just like we would do with integer or string or you know a short or a long we need to define what it is and what it is is media player then we can name it whatever we want I'm gonna call it MP short for media player you can call it whatever you want you can call it string cheese if you want we're gonna do MP splash and basically it's saying hey hey man I don't know what this media player is because this isn't a Java term. This is an Android term again. So we're just going to import the media Android or the media uh, class so we can use the media player and see it's right here. Now we can use this and we can define it. Just as we would with the integer, we'd say this is like five. But when you define a media player, uh, uh, a variable, it's a little bit different. We're gonna have to do media player dot, and then you have these options. Uh, we're gonna do dot create because we're creating it. Pretty uh, pretty tough concept there, but yeah. So we're gonna do create, and basically within its parameters, it takes a context for the first one, and for the second one, this is where what we're gonna use as a reference. You can use like a a song online if you want um, I'll, I'll do that if you guys really want me to show you but since we saved the mp3 in our RAR, RAR folder that we created uh, we're going to reference it straight from there and so we're going to do on create and again it takes two parameters for the first one it was a context we're just going to say this uh, this is a Java term I'll explain it later when we use it some more but that's Java if you know it you'll understand what that means and for the second uh, parameter, we're going to reference this. And if you remember, we've always referenced by r dot, and we're going to go to the rar dot, and then we have our uh, title for, for our sound that we want to play. So we're going to do logo noise. That's what I named mine as. If you named it something else, put it there. And so basically, we set up our variable now. But we, we still aren't using it, saying, hey, dude, the local variable MP splash is never read. And this is going to be a difficult part. No, not really. It's pretty easy. To start, to start this method uh, or this variable to start playing, all you have to do is do MP splash. So it has a reference to the variable you want. And then you hit dot start. And this is a method, so you're going to enclose those with nothing. And there we go. We should have our sound playing. I'm just going to check it out, make sure it works. Save the changes. Hit OK. OK. That was pretty neat. Kind of a weird sound. But, and my computer's slow, so it didn't synchronize perfectly. But when you use it on a phone or something that runs at normal speed, unlike my crappy computer, it'll be, it'll be on sync. But the only problem is, is that sound, it was five seconds long. And we set our splash screen up for five seconds. Let's say our splash screen was only one second, or this audio clip was three minutes. Basically what would happen now is we're going to run it again and I don't know if you'll see it because my computer loads so slow but 
So basically, that wasn't too bad, but uh, for other files it might sound terrible, but we don't want that sound to carry over, which it did. It, once our splash screen destroyed itself, the sound kept playing. So if you had like a three minute song, it'd keep playing for three minutes. And we wouldn't want that because we might want to play other sounds and it'll just get confusing for the user of the app. So this is a, a problem that we have because on create it's just going to start that sound and you know let it run till it ends but now what we can do is we can use some of these other methods that we we set up such as the on destroy method I don't know where you put this within uh, within here but uh, find your on destroy method and basically this is saying when this activity ends do these functions so basically if you're making like a video game and the user didn't forgot to save or something but uh, your app got shut down you can save uh, some of the data in here so it will automatically save but for this app on destroy we're gonna do um, we're just gonna destroy that sound so we're gonna go mp splash and it's not taking this variable it's like hey I don't even know what this is and the problem we're having right now is we define that variable within this on create method so basically this variable is a local variable it's only gonna work within here think of yourself as on create and you got headphones right now and you're listening to this sweet rattlesnake fighting a African scorpion sound and you're like whoa this is awesome and your buddy on destroy he's like hey man can can I listen to that and you're like no this is this is my variable this is my sound you can't use it but we're gonna be nice and we're gonna let uh, on destroy use that sound but the only way we can do that is set up a variable um, in our above above this on create it's in our activity or in our main uh, class so all of the other methods can use it and up here you aren't going to define what it is um, but we're just going to set uh, media player mp splash and then we're just going to end it we aren't going to set it equal to anything we're just going to say hey everyone can use this you're going to bust out your boom box and you and on destroy and your other buddies on resume and all that stuff on pause are going to be jamming out to this crazy scorpion fighting a rattlesnake sound so um, now if we scroll down to the on destroy or on destroy now we, now we can type this out and it should be able to recognize it as a variable and see when we hit the dot it's giving us these things we can put after the dot and if you notice over here all of them say like media player or an object so it knows that's a media player a variable that we're using right now and what we want to use is within our on destroy method we just want to you know kill the sound we just want to stop the sound and to do that you just say release you just, you're just gonna be like okay dude I'm done with you I'm, I'm done listening to this crazy noise so when when our activity my main is closed or is destroyed it's gonna stop the music and you do that by release some other things that we can do is say hey on pause like if we get a text message while we're using this it's gonna pause our activity so we can get our text message or whatever and then when we get back it's gonna just restart it so to pause uh, if, if it pauses in the middle we're just gonna do mp splash and then we can look through these again and it's something called uh, pause pretty pretty simple so mp splash pause that's gonna pause our noise right where it's at and then we can say on resume right here we can go mp splash and then just start start back up again where and it'll start where it was so that's kinda what's going on with these other methods that we use is we can um, basically pause our, our sound when our application pauses in the middle of it and we can also 
restart that sound when our program resumes after we get done texting. So that's kind of why we added these other methods. So I'm just going to save the project. It gets rid of all the errors. But our only other problem we're having is right now we're still defining this splash within the onCreate method as a local variable uh, because it's, re it's basically being redundant right here. So it's thinking that you want to define this variable as a local variable because basically it's redefining it and it's going to make this onCreate method think that you're establishing a local variable. That's why these are highlighted in blue and these aren't highlighted in blue. And basically just to get rid of that is just delete that uh, prefix or that defining term of what the variable is and now they all turn blue and now they're all related to each other. Pretty simple concept. I'm just gonna save it again and and then we're basically done with this tutorial. For those of you, if you were wondering why I did this while loop, you didn't really have to do that. We could have just said sleep for 5,000 and it would have worked pretty much the same. But this app is so cool right now that people are going to be playing this app like a thousand times a day just because it's so awesome and so fun to play with. And they don't want to watch that splash screen for five seconds a thousand times a day. So we're going to later set up something where they click on the screen while the uh, while the splash screen is playing and it just goes it just kills the splash screen 